Today's video is how to set up crow breaking. So let's get started. Crow breaking allows your ailerons to create more drag to slow the airplane down while working with the flaps to create lift. So let me show you how to set this up. We need to go into aircraft type and when we're talking about the aircraft setup, you need to understand that you want to have two more channels available than you would normally use if you're having your receiver set up with a Y adapter harness. So the left aileron, right aileron, and the left flap and right flap needs to be on their own channels. The way you set that up is you go into wing and you go to two ailerons, two flaps. Again, they need their own channel, no Y adapter harness. We'll back up. Let's go to channel assign. Channel assign and go to the next menu, which is our export assignment. This shows you where you need to have your servos plugged in to the receiver. You have throttle on one, right aileron on two, elevator on three, rudder on four, gear is left flap, six is left aileron, and seven is right flap. As I mentioned, you need two more channels normally, so this would normally be a five channel airplane. We need seven total. Plug your servos in to the receiver corresponding with this list. On previous DX models, you had to go in to the mix screen and create a mix for flaps to ailerons. You no longer have to do that with the NX series. It's all in the flap system. Now you have a crow percentage to the right. So you go in, you configure your flaps. Those are typically going to be a negative number because that moves the control surfaces down. So I'm going to put in 30 and 60. I'm just using bigger values on all this. That way we can see more of a difference. So we've got 60. If you have an elevator mix you need, go ahead and put that in. When using crow braking, you can set it up two ways. You could set up crow for position one and two if you want the crow braking set up whenever the flaps are deployed. However, what I like to do is if you have an airplane where you pretty much landed in one flap setting as well, you can set it up just for position two. So position one, the minus 30%, and as you can see down here on the monitor, the values will coordinate. So follow along with the monitor as we go through these settings. We go to minus 30% on the flaps. We have no crow setting. That could be our landing flaps. Then position two could be our crow setting. So the way you set this up is you go over to the far right where crow percentages are and you put in the positive number because you want them going the opposite way of your flaps. Flaps are going down. We want our ailerons to go up. You could put in positive 30 there. And positive 60 here and you see down there at the bottom as I'm dialing this up because I'm on position 2 and the square goes around the position that's being shown so even if I'm adjusting position 2 and I go to position 1 it's going to show the position 1 values in the monitor so let's go down and put minus 6 or I'm sorry plus 60 to go with the minus 60 And then at the bottom you have your speed that you can set per position. So just because we go down to position 2, and I'm going to put it on 10 seconds so we can actually see the monitor move slowly. Doesn't mean that sets that for all positions. You have to set them separately. So we'll go 10 seconds there. And then we're going to 10 seconds on position 0. Now we'll be able to see the flaps, which is... LFL and RFL and then Crow which is RAL and LAL. We'll see them move together. Again if we just wanted it for position 2 we can do that. We just go up here take away our percentage there now you will see that the left and right ailerons, when going to position one, they won't move, but they will when we go to position two. I 
I hope you all found this video informative or you learned something new today. If you did, go ahead and push like on the video. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you on the next one.